Why don't you sit down? I'm too wired and angry. You need some comfort food. Here. It's okay. This I didn't steal. Thanks. I was too upset to eat on the plane from Paris. Mm -hmm. Besides, I thought I'd be dining with my family right now. But Officer Lopez Fitzgerald had other ideas. Mm -hmm. But you have to get out of the car. I don't understand. You're under arrest, Ms. Crane. Now I need to cuff you. He's going to be sorry he messed with Sheridan Crane. When? Oh, Sheridan. Ethan called me and told me what happened. I had to come see you. Oh, oh. You made bail. Oh, yippee. Oh, oh good luck, honey. Hmm? Thanks. You too. Thanks. <laughs> Call when you're done. I'll be down in the hall. Okay. Ethan said as soon as he talks to the judge in the morning, you'll be released. Good. What about that girl that's been stalking him? Do you know who... Well, no, but Ethan is determined to find her and stop her. Who should be out there helping Ethan find that girl who's been stalking him? Instead of locked up in here. And why aren't the police doing anything? Well, Ethan didn't ask for their help. I can't blame him, considering what I've seen of Harmony's finest so far. You wouldn't believe what a complete jerk that cop was who arrested me. <laughs> yes, I can. Ethan and I had a run-in with Officer Lopez Fitzgerald ourselves once. That guy definitely has it in for the cranes. Which is kind of strange, considering he's Pilar's son. He is? You didn't know that? No. Of course, Lopez Fitzgerald. Mm -hmm. Gosh, how could a sweet, kind person like Pilar have a stormtrooper <laughs> of a son like that? You know, he wouldn't even cut me any slack. Well, Sheridan, not that I don't sympathize with you, but you were speeding and trying to resist arrest when you crashed into his police car. Well, fine, but he didn't have to have an attitude. <laughs> and I was upset enough as it was. Oh, about Jean-Luc. I finally thought I'd found true love. He was a man of my dreams. Boy, was I wrong. Yet another one of the many who was interested in me only for the crane money and name. Well, now you're home, here with the people that love you. Not quite, Mr. the Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Mm. Oh, you know, he didn't have to be so hard on me. Well, what if you tell him there were extenuating circumstances? You just got off a bad love affair. No way! And <laughs> when, and don't you say anything either. Well, if he knew that, he might be a little more sympathetic. <laughs> Forget it. Someone as cold-hearted and uptight as him doesn't know anything about love. Oh, come on. You never know. He might have had his heart broken once. By whom? Any girl in her right mind wouldn't love him. Listen to me. Putting down Officer Lopez Fitzgerald's love life. Like I'm a love expert. When I obviously haven't even a clue. Come on, you'll find the right person. No, I'm all through with that. The end. Benito, adieu. Oh, come on, Sheridan. Just because one Weasley guy betrays you, you're just going to give up on love? One Weasley guy? Sean Luke is just one of many weasels who's been interested in me only for my money. No more. You're really gonna give up on men? No. Just the wrong class of men. <laughs> What's that quote by Scott Fitzgerald? The rich are different from you and me. He's right. I remember when my brother and father used to get so upset because I would insist that a man's background didn't matter how much money he had. All that mattered was love. What a fool I was. Look, I know that you're just upset and angry and hurt right now, but one day you're gonna wanna get married and have children. <laughs> oh, I wanna have children. I suppose that will require a husband. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll go to the country club and the dinner parties and Ivy's fundraisers and Oh, I don't care. I'm bound to find some steady, reliable man who's rich enough that won't be after my money. Well, don't kid yourself, Sheridan. The crane wealth is always going to be a temptation to some people, no matter how wealthy they are. But not if you find the right man. He doesn't exist. No, I take that back. There is one Mr. Wright. My wonderful nephew, Ethan. 
<laughs> He's all yours, you lucky thing. Yours and only yours. You're wrong, Sheridan. Ethan is not the only good man out there. Someone out there for you, too. Well, I won't hold my breath. <laughs> Do you remember when we were in Paris? And we mm -hmm. talked about who was going to get married first? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm glad it's going to be you. I mean, I, I hope that It's you. okay. Oh. Ethan told me you, you told him to propose to me. I just encouraged him a little. Please don't be mad. I'm not mad. You meant well. Oh. So? When's the wedding? Well, hopefully someday. But not now. I, I, I turned down his proposal. What? What are you thinking? What? Don't you still love him? Yes, with all my heart, I do. Well, then why? Ethan has some things he needs to sort out. Well, what things? No. You don't think there's another girl in his life, do you? Glenn, you don't honestly believe that Ethan would have the slightest interest in another woman, do you? I just want to make sure that he absolutely loves me. Of course he does. You two have been together forever. That's exactly my point. I do not want Ethan to marry me out of some sense of obligation, or just because our families are close, or because we're comfortable with each other. Or because his stupid aunt told him to propose to you. No. This is all my fault. No, it's not. I just think it's a good idea that Ethan get out there and mix with a broader range of people. Meet the people of Harmony? Mm-hmm. I thought that was a good idea, too, until this whole stocking business started. And Ivy won't like that. She is so protective of him, isn't she? She let him spend very little time in Harmony growing up. And then she sent him away to school. And whenever he was home, she kept him close to the country club set. The right people, as she called it. It's as though she's afraid of losing him, but I don't know why. Ethan adores her. I can't answer that. But in any case, no girl from the cannery to the country club that could come between you two. So I would suggest that you change your mind and accept his proposal. Toot sweet. No, no, I... His proposal has to come from him and it has to come from his heart. I just hope it doesn't take too long.